Those taking part in Pride Alternative yesterday were probably unaware that just across the street, up a laneway, three van loads of riot cops were waiting. We presume they were there so that if there was any attempt to block the cops who were marching on Dublin Pride for the first time, the riot squad would have moved in and cleared the road. Could there be a stronger indication of how far Pride has moved from its roots? It originated, after all, in the defence of the Stonewall Inn against police raids. The cops are here too. Let them. Let them. <laughs> they couldn't stay away. They're like, they're like, you don't want to march with us? Well, we'll come hang out with y'all. Cool. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Cops So today we're here to celebrate a motherfucking riot. Yeah. Yeah. When I was coming up and coming out, we didn't know about Stonewall. We didn't have the internet. And we certainly didn't learn about it in school. We learned about it from radical black and brown queer elders in our community who had tasked themselves with our political education and we took it to heart. 20 years ago, when we were celebrating the 30th anniversary of Stonewall, I was working for a queer youth organization coordinating our prison abolition campaign. The majority of our group were young queer people of color and our organizing reflected that. The mainstream gay rights movement of the time did not speak to us and sometimes quite literally rejected us. While the mainstream lesbian and gay NGOs were fighting for gay marriage, we were fighting against heteronormative assimilation within the confines of monogamy. While they were fighting for gays in the military, we were fighting against US imperialism. And while they were fighting for hate crime legislation, we were fighting against the prison industrial complex. Sound familiar? So what's changed in the past 20 years? Like seriously, no what's changed? No <laughs> There's been progress. Uh, we have same-sex marriage um, and we have more visibility than ever. But visibility for what? Did Stonewall happen so that 50 years later we can become a target consumer demographic? So corporations could sell our resistance back to us and we could be grateful for their recognition of our collective spending power? so that we can march hand in hand with the guards one day, while the next day they arrest migrant sex workers and de deport queer asylum seekers. So we can march with RTE, who happily platform fascists. So we can march with corporations that profit from a housing and homelessness crisis and that support Israeli apartheid. So we can march with political parties who stand over the disgraceful system of direct provision in Ireland, who force trans women to live in an open prison with all men and then bury her without telling any of her friends or family. So pride can be inclusive. Inclusive of whom? Of banks, corporations, and cops? I can't remember a Dublin Pride when I didn't get some racist abuse off a drunk gay man or tone police by some more respectable members of the LGB community. So fuck your inclusion. We're fighting for liberation. Yeah. 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 We need a new understanding of what it means to be queer. It's not just who we love and who we fuck. It has to be about the material conditions of our communities and challenging cis heteronormative social, economic, and political structures. Merge is a group of migrants and ethnic minority women, trans, and non-binary revolutionaries. We know firsthand that we don't exist as a migrant one day and a lesbian the next. We don't exist as trans one day, then working class the next. We cannot overlook one struggle in aid of another. We will not patiently wait our turn, because though promised, that turn never comes. So while the mainstream LGBT, never mind QAI, movement is fighting for corporate sponsorship, we will be fighting for an end to racial capital. While they're fighting for gay representation in the boardroom and in Leinster House, we're fighting against borders and against the state. Being queer has to be about bringing our whole selves to the struggle. And most importantly, it has to be about resistance. Luckily for us, we can trace our roots back to a fight with the cops. Be gay, do crime, ACAB. Yeah.